Hello again, this is Hiro Uzuki with part 13 of the Mobile Suit Gundam Encounters in Space Let's Play, the game in which, although Luce is gone, we must carry on. And seeing as how we are on the final stage of Space Beyond the Blaze, I think we'll make it, so let's keep going. Even within Zeon itself, there is opposition to the dictatorship of the zombie family, with Prime Minister Darcy... Well, yeah, I mean, movement. dictators tend not to After last. Rendezvousing with the Prime Probably because, Minister well, the Jive, they're dicks. The gets underway Clues in the title. The site of the peace site. But a Zeon military force, determined to thwart any attempts at a peaceful settlement, waits. The minority does Captain, not speak for the majority. Approaching from the moon. It's not answering our hail. An enemy from the moon? It's possible these are principality forces that are trying to stop the peace treaty. All hands, protect the Chive, no matter what! You say that, but really it's just going to be me doing that. An emergency launch of G05. Roger. we got this. Now, this stage can actually be really easy or really hard, depending on how you approach the second half of the stage. More on that when we get there. G05, forward away. It must be protected at all costs. Lieutenant Ford, please believe in the power of yourself and your Gundam. I'd risk everything to end this war. Okay, so normal. this is the bit where you can either make this easy on yourself or harder on yourself. Now, we have this mobile armor coming at us, but um, yeah, if you want an easier time of it, you gotta ignore it. Focus on the mobile suits. It means it's a new type of mobile suit. It means it's a new type of mobile suit. Chive is beginning its descent. Please protect But yeah, as I was trying to say, you gotta focus on the mobile suits over the brow bro. Because the mobile armor, it'll focus on attacking you, while the mobile suits will focus on attacking the Chive. Which, you know, that isn't great. Enemy reinforcements. Be careful. Take this. I'm taking it all with me. That was clear. It's still in one piece. Just out front it. More enemy reinforcements. The defending target is under fire. Please support. Out of the way. Oh, shield. That was clear. Be fine. Wait, the... More enemy reinforcements. And the Chive is safe as well. Neat. <sighs> so, it's finally over. A communication and from done. Granada, sir. They're opening negotiations at Amman. It looks like peace. So, For now. it's finally over. This war is finally coming to an end at last. Until 0081. And 0083. And we would like to welcome Prime Minister Darcia of the Republic of Zeon. We did it, Luz. Oh, I only wish you were here to enjoy this victory with us. Gone but not forgotten. Thoroughbred, this is G05, Ford Longfellow. Mission complete. Returning to base. Universal Century 0080. After this battle, all hostilities were suspended. 
Soon after, a formal peace treaty marking the end of the war between the Earth Federation and the Republic of Zeon was signed. But how long would it last? So, that was Mobile Suit Gundam Space Beyond the Blaze, at least canon events. This game in Cowards in Space, it does something different with this material. It uh, has a branching storyline, and I'll go over that when I take care of Stage 3 again. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and stop here while the stopping's good. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, then consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, leaving a comment, and hitting that bell to stay updated with more videos from me. With that, this is Hiro Uzuki signing off. Yes, Luce is gone but not forgotten in this route, but what about the other one? I feel it's worth pointing out at this point that if you fail to protect the Cheve and you get the bad ending, you actually find out that the Prime Minister wasn't on board that shit, so your efforts would have been for all of Jack and shit. Which, now that I think about it, still kind of feels that way. I want a refund, damn it. I'm not getting that refund.